sharing filter okay the name itself is saying guys sharing filter so what does it mean sharing filter is nothing but which is helpful to redistribute it means to say reusability of the filters across the worksheets okay yeah so let's see how we can utilize this and how we can implement this as well okay here we go let's say i have a data source fine you have a some x i mean you have a worksheet fine guys where we used to apply the filter in general tell me let's say i would like to apply filter on segment see we are already having a filter here isn't it let me remove this fine where we do apply a filter look at this we will apply a filter over here isn't it now for example let's say i would like to have consumer and corporate in my report fine so you have only consumer related as well as corporate related fine you have a filter isn't it now select that particular filter what is that apply to so what type how many types of worksheets you have i mean to say how many types of filter this filter apply to what all using this data source or only this worksheet but as i mentioned you have three types of sheets guys okay what is that you have three types of sheets three types of filters that is all using the data source look at this as i mentioned okay all using the data source only this worksheet and how about the other one selected worksheets okay but why this option is missing selected worksheet isn't it because you have only one worksheet here that is the reason it is showing not showing if i go ahead with another sheet okay for example look at this okay now look at this in sample sheet level now what happened see selected worksheet so this selected worksheets will come in picture whenever you have multiple worksheets if you have only a single worksheet this never come in picture okay so this is one so how many types of filters we have sharing filter level again we have three types of filters one is selected worksheet selected worksheet in sense here we go look at this so which means on the specific one now look at this apply to worksheet selected worksheet which means you are going to choose on which worksheet this filter is supposed to applicable like that okay now look at this let's say i have selected to sheet applied to be sheet 2 now look at this sheet 2 look at the iconic representation look at the iconic difference see okay which means this is the sharing filter this is the icon for the sharing filter okay on the left side what you are seeing here right that is what sharing filter okay so now so far what we have done we have applied this worksheet to the individual worksheet as well as to the sharing i mean to the to the distributed to the other worksheet that is what we have did right you know what guys look at this select right click what is this it is supposed to apply to all the worksheets it is supposed to applicable to all the worksheets which are dependent on this data source so if that is the case i am going to use this one. now look at this so look at iconic icon has been changed look at this if i use selected worksheet icon wise different look at this okay now look at this look at the icon the icon is different isn't it now when i turn it into apply to all the using this data source look at the icon which means now this filter is applied now look at this. what happened now if i fill in category what happened look at this this filter is coming in picture automatically isn't it 
Now look at this. When you choose segment, what will happen? The filter is applied here. See, only the filter. But there is supposed to be one more value, isn't it? So now this filter is going to applicable on all the worksheet which are dependent on this data source. Okay. So this is what guys? This is what sharing filters where we can okay where we can reuse them n number of times which are respected to the selected worksheets which are respected to the individual worksheets or which are dependent on the total data source so this is the beauty of a sharing filter again okay so now we can ask me a question if i have multiple data sources that's fine we can apply to the respective data source that is not an issue okay absolutely Okay, there is no limitation at all. Okay, this is purely depends upon your need basis. Okay, see this kind of a sharing filters you do have it in uh, you know even in the traditional tools also like business objects, Cognos, MicroStrategy as well. But I can say like this is not quite uh, you know in Tableau it is quite easy. I can say even in uh, traditional tools also it is easy. I cannot deny that. But the usage wise and all everything is bit simplified at a W level. Okay. Exactly, it's a good point. You know, data source filter, you are filtering at a data source level itself, right? Which yeah. means before retrieving the data into your worksheet, you have applied a filter. Isn't it? Yeah. Yes. But here it is not like that. The data has been retrieved into your worksheet. But on top of it, it is going to applicable on the all the worksheets whatever you are going to use okay which are dependent on this data source and it is quite similar to all the i mean data source filter but not exactly because it is retrieving the data but somewhere around you are applying a filter here right which is what you are specifically mentioning that it has to apply at a data source level right mm. so which means this is applying on the worksheet level only but not at the data source level because you are applying on top of a worksheet at one point of time, isn't it? Yeah. So that is the reason. So indirectly, that is what you have a thin line here.